Tamashi here. I have fuchsia hair! How exciting! I know I said I was going to go back to brunette, but it was just really depressing to think about going back to my boring natural color after being pink for so long, so I went purple instead. Sort of like Jesse from Team Rocket, don't you think? So I haven't done one of these in a while, but this week I'm going to be doing a 99 Gamers haul video, and 99 Gamers decided to do another giveaway through my channel, so stay tuned if you want to find out how to win a PS4. Basically what 99Gamers is, is it's an online game trading marketplace. How it works is you trade games for on-site currency, so rather than using real money, you're just trading games for similar value. I like this system because if you want a game that you can't afford, all you have to do is trade in a bunch of games that you don't want to play anymore. And rather than being ripped off by a middleman like GameStop, you can just trade directly with other players for games of equal value. So let me show you what I got. First up, I got myself a copy of Soul Silver. I have Heart Gold, and I love Heart Gold, and I've played Heart Gold, but I have completed the Pokedex in Heart Gold, so if I want to replay it for footage, or if I just want to replay it for fun because it's a great game, I can't. So I decided to get myself a copy of Soul Silver to play through whenever I want, and it actually even came with a Pokewalker, which is nice. Usually copies of this game are pretty expensive in the real world just for the cartridge alone, so I'm pretty lucky to be able to get this on 99 Gamers for essentially no money and just the value of the games that, you know, I traded in, so yeah. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are really great games, and uh, I really like them as remakes because they sort of highlighted things that I didn't necessarily appreciate about the original Gold and Silver and made me appreciate the originals more, which I felt like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, though they did do some really great things, they almost did the opposite, where they highlighted things that I didn't notice were bad about the originals, and it made me like playing the original games less in a way. So, I feel like probably of all of the Pokemon remakes, and maybe even the Pokemon main games, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are really, really good, and I recommend them to anybody who can get their hands on them. Now the next game I picked up was Pingya Fantasy Golf for the PSP. Um, I recently got a Mac, because Macs are usually pretty good for editing and that sort of thing, so for work it's really great, but that means that I can't play Pangia, because Pangia is a PC game only, so I decided to pick up this PSP copy of it. Pangia's had some console ports before, there's a one for the Wii called Super Swing Golf, and it really wasn't that good, but I've heard really great things about this PSP version, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. And the next game I got was Injustice Gods Among Us. Um, I actually got this because I saw NerdCube play it, and it made me think of Marvel Nemesis, which is a game that I played with my neighbors back in the day. And I've never really been into um, Marvel or DC Comics, I'm more of a shoujo heroine type of gal, but I've always sort of enjoyed um, superheroes in general, and I used to love playing with the action figures and sort of giving my own characters to the characters since I wasn't familiar with the universe. So. Um, it was a really fun game to play with my neighbors, and I'm looking forward to sort of reliving my experience with Injustice Gods Among Us. And the next game that I got is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which is a game that I rented a, a bunch as a kid, but I never owned it. So I'm looking forward to being able to play all the way through it. And the neat thing about this one was that this was something I ended up buying from one of my viewers. Um, they say that Quagsire is their favorite Pokemon in the little note that they left me. They also sent me, which was not listed on the 99 Gamers listing, so I think they were just being really nice, but they sent me a bonus item, which was the strategy guide for the game, so really, really thank you. It made my day to get this, and it's really exciting, and it'll help me, because I'm not generally very good at Final Fantasy games, so. And then the last game I got was a little, uh, silly game to try out, because I had only two coins left, and there's not a lot you can get on 99 Gamers for just two coins. You could probably get, like, a sports game if you wanted, but yeah. So I looked through all the games that I could get for under two coins, and of all of them, this one looked the most interesting to me. It's a Snow White Game Boy Color game. It, yeah, I uh, don't, I can't imagine what Snow White translated into a Game Boy Color game is going to be like. So, this is more of a morbid curiosity type of pickup, and not necessarily one that I really, really wanted, but it should be interesting to try out. I always kind of like trying out cheap little games that you wouldn't ordinarily pick up that you usually find in the clearance bin, because even if they're really bad, usually they're pretty hilariously bad, especially like shovelware titles based on licensed game or licensed movies. So yeah. Um, I know a lot of people don't understand that, but 
and I've gotten some really weird looks from friends when I've tried to pick up like little weird games at thrift stores and things like that that they wouldn't give a second look to, but it's just really fun to me to play odd, obscure, weird, bad little games, so maybe this game isn't even bad, I don't know, I haven't tried it. I shouldn't knock it before I try it, so yeah, Snow White for the Game Boy Color. So now I bet you're wondering how to win that PS4. Well, I'm glad you asked. Just click on the link in the video description and sign up with 99Gamers through that link and you'll be entered to win. Um, there's probably not going to be a confirmation screen telling you that you're entered in the contest. They'll be able to track that you signed up through the link below and that you'll be entered in the contest. So, no worries. Uh, you'll be signed up as normal and you'll be entered in to win the PS4. And don't worry if you're already a member of 99Gamers, they're doing contests all the time. I think they have a monthly contest actually where you can win all kinds of stuff. So if you can't enter into this particular giveaway because you already have an account, you'll be able to enter into tons of others because you do already have an account. So I think that about wraps it up. Um, hello to all the new people who have subscribed to me in the past week. A lot of you found me through the Did You Know Gaming video that I voiced and I want to say thanks for checking me out. And if you're new to this channel, I figured I should probably tell you how it works. I upload one vlog type challenge, um, tag, fun little live video, unscripted, every Wednesday. And on weekends I upload one really well researched, lots of effort Pokemon video. And this weekend I'll have part two of the Gen 2 glitches up for all of your viewing pleasure. So thanks for watching, good luck in the giveaway, and don't forget to click here to subscribe for more Pokemon videos twice a week. See ya!